So now we have 4x squared minus 16. That's only two terms with the minus. Um, step number one would be to look for a GCF. And I notice that they're both divisible by 4. So I'm going to divide them both by 4 and put that out here. And why did I do that? Because it had a GCF. The GCF was 4. You always divide by the GCF. You always factor out the GCF. Now from there, if you only have two terms, and you can make this a square and this a square, you go ahead and do that. And so I notice that x squared is a square. If I was to make that into a square, that'd be x and x. x times x is x squared. Now 4 is also a perfect square. 4 makes a square 2 by 2. And so we call this process uh, factoring by difference of two squares. And you can only use it if there's a minus and both of those are squares. And all you do is you put the x with the two. So you, you make this x and x. Break it up into the square. And then you make this 2 and 2. Now, because there's no middle term, there's no x term, you're going to make this one plus and this one negative. Because real fast, if I was to multiply this, I'd get x squared and here 2 times negative 2 I'd get negative 4. That's where the x squared minus 4 comes from. And then the middle term, I'd have 2x and negative 2x. And 2x and negative 2x make 0. And that's why there's no middle term. Now I'm almost finished. I need to also include the GCF of 4. And I really don't need this stuff. only to check my work. Now as a preview for another lesson, let's say this was a plus 4. What would you do? Now if this is a plus 4, we call this addition of two squares, and now this makes imaginary factor. So if this is a plus 4, you have to add in an i right here. But ours was not a plus, so we don't have to worry about the i. But this is a preview. If this is a plus, this has to have an i in there. But we don't have a plus, so I'm going to take that away. This is our uh, factor form. x plus 2, x minus 2 with the